Hi everyone, my name is Katrina Brown and today I'm going to talk about water pollution. We as humans can live without lots of things including electricity, modern technology, and even love. But we cannot live without water. Today I'm going to discuss everything you need to know about water pollution. I will explain the causes and the solutions along with the pros and cons. The solutions come with roadblocks which I will discuss as well. Water pollution can be defined as the buildup of one or more substances in water to an extent that they cause problems for animals and humans. Think about it. If you poured a container of black ink into a river, what would happen? The ink would disappear into the river because it's such a low concentration. At low concentrations, you cannot see it. However, what do you think would happen if you poured gallons of ink in the river every few seconds through pipes? The answer is the river would turn black. The main problem caused by water pollution is that it kills organisms that depend on these water bodies. Dead fish, crabs, birds, seagulls, dolphins, and many other animals often wind up on beaches killed by pollutants in their habitat. Pollutants disrupt the natural food chain as well. What and how birds and other animals eat is connected. For instance, to survive, the hawk eats snakes. In turn, many snakes eat birds. The birds eat the grasshopper. Grasshoppers eat plants, which comes from seeds, which makes their own food from the sunlight. When one of the links, such as a species in a food chain, is no longer present because, for example, it becomes extinct, the food chain breaks. A break in the food chain can sometimes cause other animals in the food chain to disappear, as well as the whole ecosystem can become imbalanced or even collapse. Now let's take a look at the causes of water pollution. It's simple. Water pollution is caused by human activity. Sewage, with billions of people on the planet, disposing of sewage waste is a problem. According to the article, 2.1 billion people do not have access to safe drinking water. And 2.3 billion, which is 30% of the world's population, do not have proper sanitation to include hygienic toilet facilities. When you flush the toilet, the sewage has to go somewhere. Sometimes sewage waste is pumped untreated into the sea. In theory, sewage is a natural substance that should be broken down into the environment. And then if we look at nutrients from fertilizers, during crop spraying, some chemicals will drain into the soil. Eventually, they seep into rivers and other water courses. And waterways? Factories are the main source of water pollution. Lots of water is polluted by people. Most people pour chemicals of one sort or another down the drains or toilets. Even detergents used in washing machines and dishwashers eventually end up in rivers and oceans. Chemical waste. The chemical waste are substances released into our natural water, maybe chemical in nature, such as an oil leak from a pipeline or chemical leak from a factor which both can be controlled. Radioactive waste, which is a result of uranium mining, the production of nuclear energy, and military testing, is any type of pollution that exceeds the level of radiation naturally produced by the environment. Oil pollution is when oil tanker spills, which catch the most attention because the quantity of oil they release at once. 70% of pollution at sea come from routine shipping and from oil people pour down drains on land. Slide six gives a visual. I included the different types of water pollutions previously mentioned to include disposing of sewage, spraying of chemicals on crops which seep into the soil, the effect of oil spills on birds, other contaminants such as plastic also affect animals like birds and fish. Hopefully, we never have to look into positives of water pollutions, but for the purpose of the presentation, I'm going to discuss the pros and cons of water pollution. Some of the pros include economic benefits, more crops, and it helps to free the land of harmful stu substances. With pollution as a, on a rise, 
employment and water-related departments will increase. Another economic benefit is water purifier companies will continue to sell products. The benefit to farmer fertilizing their crop and putting the chemicals in the oil that later seep to the oceans is fertilizers is essential to crop growth. The more crops the farmers produce results in more distribution to consumers and greater financial benefit to the farmer. The positive to water pollution is by discarding the waste products into the ocean, it frees up space from dumping the trash, less trash in, in landfills. There are lots of cons to water pollution. The top three are health hazards, poisoning of fauna and flora, and other causes it has to the environment and health. We can stop water pollution by educating ourselves. In order to solve a problem, people need to be aware of the problem. Greater public awareness can make a difference. We need better laws. The U.S. needs environmental laws that would make it tougher for people to pollute. But the U.S. needs to figure out a way to work with other national and international laws. Another way we can stop pollution is through something called polluter pays principle. The article defines the polluter pays principle as whoever caused pollution should have to clean it up. For example, if tankers have a spill, their owner should have to cover the cleanup. Another example is shoppers. Shoppers should have to pay for grocery bags, which is common now. And most importantly, Recycling should be encouraged. The future. Our future can be clean in terms of water. It's all about choices. We can either live with sewage in our beaches and dead fish that are dangerous to eat because they are poisonous, or we can all hold ourselves accountable to keep our environment clean. We as a country and nation need to start using environmentally friendly detergent, stop dumping trash in our oceans, and stop pouring oil down our drains and, and look for alternatives to pesticides. And our world would be a better place for us and future generations.